Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a thing called a reverb tail to any piece of music when you stop it in QLab. This is a really great sounding thing that you can apply to any piece of music to make the end of it sound much more theatrical and professional. So let's do it. Before we start, uh, make sure that you're using groups in QLab like this. So it's got the green boxes around it and also check your settings. So go to settings, your Q template group and that it says start all children simultaneously. Make sure this is selected. Otherwise it won't work. Make sure you have a look at my introduction to QLab video to see what this means. So we have a music cue here in QLab and I can fade it out uh, or I can use a stop cue like this. I've got the I've got the track here and then I've got the stop cue. Let's have a listen to this. But that sounds completely terrible, doesn't it? It's like someone's just unplugged the DJ's decks. There's no sort of atmosphere. There's real, no realism or definition there. So we're going to apply a reverb tail out to make it sound much, much better. So start by duplicating the music track. You can click on it, press Command and C and then Command and V to copy and paste it. Next, we want to rename it. So select the one you want and press Q and then call one of them clean and then click on the other one, press Q to rename and put call the other one verb, which is short for reverb. The reason for renaming them is to make it much easier to see what's happening later on in the process. So click on the verb version and we want to change these parameters. So we want to click on audio levels in then in the inspector panel down the bottom here, we want to drag the master all the way down to the bottom like that. Next, we want to add reverb to this track. So click on audio effects and then click on add effect. Click on Apple to access the built in QLab effects and then click on AU matrix reverb. Now we could play with the small size and large size settings here to give us different sounding reverbs or you could use a preset which is what I do because it's simple and the presets sound actually pretty good. So click on presets at the top, go to factory and choose one of these reverb presets. I like using large hall. Click on it and the settings automatically change for that reverb. Then click the cross in the top left just to close the window. Next, we need to add two fade cues, one for each track. So highlight the clean track and then what we're going to do is click on fade at the top here or we can press command and seven. So command and seven to add a fade for that one and then do the same for verb. Click on it and press command and seven. We want to get rid of that stop cue and we want to drag these two fade cues into the next group, which is going to be the Q2 to stop it. So there are four things that we need to change on these fade cues. So let's do the clean one first. So first of all, we need to check that it's go down here into uh, audio levels and we want to check that it's an absolute fade, not a relative one. Number two is we want to click on stop target when done. Number three, we want to click and drag on the master so it's at minus inf, just like that. Click on it drag it up, drag it down so it says minus inf. And finally, we want to make the duration of the fade zero seconds. So it's an instant fade. With it selected, we can press D for duration and then we press zero and that goes in there. If you don't want to do that, you can click on curve shape and change the duration down there. Next, we want to do the same thing with the fade on the verb version. So again, we go down, make sure it's an absolute fade, click stop target when done. And here we don't want to put the master volume down at minus inf. We want to make it about three to five dB or decibels less than the clean version. So we go up here, we can check the clean version and we can see that it's playing at zero. We can see that it's at zero dB. So we want to set the fade cue on the verb version to something like minus three dB. So we click on the verb version, click on the master, press minus three and there we go. And finally, we want to make the duration zero seconds. So it is an instant fade. I'm going to press D to activate duration, press zero 
and then we go we've got it as zero so let's have a check we have the clean version and the verb versions they're playing together and the two fades one on the clean version and one on the verb now let's click at the top of the group and let's see how this sounds i'm going to hit go uh, by pressing spacebar So you can hear when I stop the track, we get that lovely reverb tail when the music stops, which makes it sound much more natural and defined. And this will happen wherever we stop the track. I can skip through. And I can stop the track. And wherever the music is, we will always get that lovely tail. Now, you may think I want that reverb to be bigger, longer or a bit more epic. So we can change this by changing the reverb setting. So click on the verb version, click on audio effects down the bottom, click on edit, which is next to our AU matrix reverb. And then we can click on presets at the top, go to factory, and we can see where we were before. So we're currently using large hall. So let's go slightly further down. Let's try out cathedral and see how that sounds. The settings, as you can see, automatically change. Now we can keep this reverb window open if we want. I click on the top of the first queue over here and let's see how this sounds. So there we go, the reverb is longer and a bit more epic. Just look over on the right hand side there and you can still you can see that the cue was still active for a while until the reverb tail has completely finished. So when I play the track and stop it, it's still working over here because as we can hear, that reverb tail hasn't finished yet. And when it has finished, it will stop. So in essence, what we have is we have the clean version of the track playing and at the same time, we've got the reverb version playing underneath, but it's silent. And then what these two fade cues are doing are snapping and switching them around. So we quickly hear the reverb version as it stops. You can use this on any piece of music to give the ending of it much more punch and realism. And that's how you apply a reverb tail to a piece of music in QLab. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a like. Do check out these other videos and subscribe. And if you want to support what I do and the channel, you can click on the link in the video description. All the best.